And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we are here. A week has flown by, naturally. New show, new show, new show. Oh, where's me Blackthorn Shillelagh? For those that don't like it, up yours with the Shillelagh. If you don't like the Shillelagh, you can stick it. Greetings, everyone. Uh, greetings. Welcome to Uncensored Hard Hitting Truth. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are here uh, at the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. And uh, it's the beginning of June. June the 6th. June the 6th. June the 6th. Good thing we're not doing a show at 6 p.m. Uh, we don't want to get too many sixes six, six, in, six. in with the show, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, we are going all naturalo because it's a beautiful, knock on wood, dry, uh, 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 not humid at all, uh, pleasant temperature. Uh, uh, it's it's actually been a very crazy spring, very cold spring. No, I don't I think, think we had a spring. We went right from winter into summer. I and you're going to do it, and next week it's going to be the same thing. Is next week going to be cool or hot? Hot. 82, 86, 88, 85. Yeah, that's what I we've been doing. I think it begins doing. on Tuesday. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me um, introduce you to my co-host, hey, um, the illustrious uh, uh co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. That is the voice you hear in the background, the disembodied spirit, the one and only the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Uh, I'm good, I guess. I guess. Ow. Yes, I am glad you're good because there's nothing like the ideal... Nothing like the ideal weather yes. to invigorate one's weather body is, yes, and also very my important, very important my very medicinal high antioxidant and uncle oxidant borax scored herbal tea. Ooh. There's a lot in here. Ooh. Trust me, there's a lot in here. I had the blueberry tea today with all that other crap in it and I'm not too pleased with that either. You gotta put put a bag of that acai uh, berry yeah, we'll see. Uh, blast, whatever from celestial. Got about six more teas to go through before I, you know. From celestial seasonings, yeah. He, right oh, now, from the, celestial seasonings. No, the acai is. Oh. is um, yeah, the other one is Yogi brand, but uh, see, uh, uh, Doctor Bill. A hey, Yogi. Hey, boo 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 boo. A yo. Uh, uh, Doctor Bill is having a taste bud dilemma. I don't know if it's the taste, but I think it's the tea. Well, let's put it this way. If you put that acai berry zinger or any any zinger in with your green tea from Celestial Seasonings and you still don't have flavor, you are shot, man. Your taste buds are hereby shot. Well, my taste buds are fine because I can taste my food and I can taste uh, my, you know, uh, my chocolate uh, but whey protein. Well, maybe you're just like maybe you're just a very difficult person. Oh, that could be a pain in the in the arse. A pita. I got P I T A. A pain in the ass. I got uh, a Asian detoxifying bitter melon tea, stinging nettles, uh, peppermint. Peppermint. Good actually, it's actually no, it's it's Bigelow mint medley. I have a yerba mate, I have a high quality Japanese green tea with matcha powder, I have a whole lemon with rind, and that's what's giving it... Well, a, you got to have flavor with that. That's what's giving it, all, especially with the rind, and the rind has more nutritional value than the juice of the lemon. But I 
whatever, lemon oil. Whatever I decide. Very medicinal, by tasty the way. Or whatever. I want the green tea. Oh, and I have with it. I have imported Indian chai powder for making a chai, your own chai tea. So this is loaded with stuff. Anyway, let me let me just let me just get this over with, Whoa. so I can I can dump it now. The Chisler's Hall of Shame. We haven't done a good Chisler's Hall of Shame in a while. Um, last time we did one, it was about ice cream. You know, uh, shrinking packages, uh, shrinking amount. The price goes stays the same or gets higher, mm -hmm. but the ice cream shrinks. And um, Breyers, uh, it, it must be pumping their ice cream with a lot of air because it's all like light as a feather. It's not heavy and creamy. So we did, that's the last one we did. This week is two as far as consumer products. Breyers, two for five bucks. We're a shop, right? Yeah. That's not bad. Okay, now. Well, it is if it's a bunk full of air. The, uh, we uh, we have done shows about American uh, appliance products. Uh, American products, American appliance companies, uh, where you you purchase an appliance and it doesn't last long. It dies on you. It burns out. We've gone through so many drip coffee makers at home. This is the second toaster that has burnt out in a a premature. Uh, uh, early ejaculation. ejaculation, a premature amount of time died. Okay, the, uh, the first one was Sunbeam. It not only burnt out, but the top was plastic. How, how intelligent was that, right? Mm -hmm. And it melted. The first toaster that ever toasted itself. <laughs> oh, where's my levity goes? Where's my levity was? Almost as funny as Chris Christie in a baseball uniform, NYPD. But. Here you go. Number two toaster, Black & Decker. Just Ooh. flat out died, burnt out. So I would like to induct into the Chisler's Hall of Shame. Black & Decker. You suck. American-made products suck. I don't care what my flag-waving... Uh, a Yankee Doodle Dandy teabagger friend says they suck. Uh. Shame on you, Black and Decker, or whatever company makes it. Also, I don't know how true this is, Dr. Bill, but I heard rumors that CNN Cable News Network has not been televising or mentioning Bernie Sanders' name. That is correct. On purpose, deliberately. That is correct. Shame on you, you scumbag, no good, corporate whore, cable news network. You are not about fair and honest journalism and broadcasting. You are corporate whores, probably coke suckers, coke brothers suckers, by deliberately not Televising the Bernie Sanders, the great Bernie Sanders. And the other day, wants to clean up, clean out the barn, literally. Well, that's why he didn't get mentioned. Uh, CNN. The uh, the other day, Stephanopoulos, yeah, was interviewing Bernie, and he uh, he tries to uh, Stephanopoulos tries to. Uh, Put Bernie down basically by bringing up uh, your your uh, critics are uh, you're a socialist. You know what Bernie said? What? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Well, what did what yeah, did tell me what's wrong with what that? did crony capitalism ever do in the history of the United States since the Industrial Revolution? What did it ever do for the poorer middle class? The working class. The working class. The center of a bagel. If your bagel has a hole, you know. Well, my bucket's got a hole in it. Some bagels have so many, are so puffy and big and loaded with carbs that there's no hole. Yeah, they are loaded with carbs. But anyway, um, nothing. 
It's it's rigged only for the rich. Where's my prop? The system, crony capitalism. Um, forget about aside from the two-party system, which is totally corrupt. Let's just say crony capitalism. It's rigged only for the rich. So everything you've heard since you were a child about the uh, land of opportunity, milk and honey, flag waving, blah blah blah, founding fathers, blah blah blah, yada 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 yada, is all a lie. Our history books were full of lies, partial and half truths. You do not have, you never had trickle down economics, only a pre-designed, pre-rigged, siphon up to the top 20% oligarchy economics. Siphon up economics. Never trickle down. Only pistol down. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a siphon. So, forget what you hear. Teabaggers are very brain cell deficient people. They cannot think for themselves, they cannot take logic and facts before them and make a, 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 an honest, intelligent decision. They, they're incapable of doing this. So, that's it. The, the Devil's Economics, our series marches on. Capitalism in a conch shell. Capitalism in a conch shell. Capital has done nothing for the poor and the working class or the middle class that's not working. You know, um, um, formalities. I want to say hello to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. I would like to say hello, greetings to uh, personal trainer extraordinaire, former WWE star Ken. Thiessen, uh, uh, KT Training to Win, Akari USA, Boca Raton, Florida. I want to say greetings to uh, a personal trainer and a dietary consultant extraordinaire of, of the Northeast, Mr. Mario Petrus. And I would like to say greetings um, to all of my Facebook group administrators, every one of them. Uh, Sash uh, Boyle, Joe Stebbins, Anthony Laura, Jean Luc O'Don, uh, uh, Jay Cruz, and Justin Dana Spears. Greetings to every one of you. Great job. Um, there's so many fantastic posts that are made on our uh, uncensored, hard hitting truth Facebook group. It really has been. I'm very proud of it. It, it has grown uh, very quickly and very uh, to a very large volume. And I am adding many people every day. And uh, you know, um, don't be a spectator. Be proactive. Get involved. Post things there. Share with the many members. Because you know, if you just put it on your profile, your your exposure is very limited. Okay, so that's that. Um, um, let me see. Uh, you know the usual crap with Republicans and right wing religious nuts saying insane things just goes on every week. You know, if the clown bus gets bigger. <laughs> I think I. I Rick Perry threw his hat in, and Graham, what is it, Lindsey Graham? Oops. Mr. Oops. And then you Lindsey Graham, yes. So the double-decker Republican clown bus is getting longer and longer and longer. And That's because of all that Coke money out there. They all want some of that Coke money. You know? They're all cookie cutter, carbon copies of one another. Oh, but a couple of them are making like they're interested in the working class and the poor. 
They're sounding progressive. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they want them dar votes. They want to get them dar votes uh, out yonder in them dar states. I'm, I'm talking, you know, redneck teabagger uh, voice, you know. So sometimes I do a little foghorn, leghorn. Oh, Texas. Texas um, is holding off on secession until the check until clears. Until the FEMA check comes in. Until the FEMA check clears. Yeah. We're not going to secede yet. Let, let us get bailed out by big government, by Obama. Let yeah. us take typical Republican attitude. Let us take the money and run. And run. You know, we'll buddy up to Barack Obama. We'll take that FEMA money, and then after we get it, we'll... Texas rising. Texas rising. They want us to see... Second Alamo. The best thing that could happen is if Texas secedes, all the Republicans and conservatives and teabaggers will move there. And then, you know, maybe they can call themselves the, the oligarch republic of numbskulls or something. Tex-ass. You know, they just, all of them can go to, even, even Pat Robertson and uh, Mike Huckabee with his son there. Uh, <laughs> all right, I mean, his son was doing something. What, what was that? He's a fat, fat kid with a Yosemite Sam mustache. It had something to do with soft porn. Ah! Uh -huh. Soft porn is when you have try to have sex without an erection? No. You it's soft, soft, soft porn? Soft porn is <laughs> no penetration. Just uh -oh. rubbing and moving around and a lot of uh, 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 positions. Boring. But no penetration. Boring. Okay, soft mm. porn. Well, to a to a famous man of the cloth, um, you know, and in, in his case, it's the cloth that he wipes his dick with. Uh, you know, it, it's 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 scandalous because you know you're expected the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, so I guess the expectations might be a little higher with the son of a famous. Ain't that uh, the way it always is with these preacher guys? You know, and they're their kids. So but, he's there. Well, uh, Sarah Palin comes to Bristol mind. Bristol Palin. Yeah. Yeah. Gets abstinence, abstinence. No sex education. No sex before marriage. Said that. Uh, well, what? You're pregnant? Well, if you browbeat, if you browbeat the kids, it's going to make it more enticing to them, isn't it? Yeah. Well, obviously. The taboo. That's usually what happens. You know, um, <laughs> the taboo becomes exciting. Now, um, you know, yeah, Sarah Palin. Uh, she probably doesn't even realize how stupid she is. She she made another comical statement. Well, she doesn't. And what happens amongst the Republicans is when they do the stupid things, they the PR people come out and they, they they give them ways to to get out of it to put it behind them so they never learn from it basically that's no. what happens if you go around let's say you you go around and you're having an argument with somebody a scientific argument by the way where you have all the facts and he doesn't and he does what he does and he makes stupid statements and this, that, and the other thing. And then he goes and they, nah, well, no, no, you're okay, don't worry about it. You just say this and you, you, you make a snide remark or get snarky, and people don't even care. Yeah, like, and they like, never learned that. Like, like climate change, no, no, matter, no matter what you choose to believe about climate change, it doesn't change the facts. It doesn't change the facts that that mother polar bear 
and her cub is yeah, on, is sitting not, on an ice floe that's getting smaller. That's not the issue amongst Republicans as far as that is concerned. It it it, it concerns big business. In other words, what you're trying to do is or, you're trying to yeah. stop big business from being dirty and making them moolah. Why? Under Obama, what do we have? Clean coal. Ain't no such thing as clean coal. Clean coal, Clean Air Act, Citizens, clean Air Act. Citizens yeah. United. Uh, all these positive uh, terms, uh, titles, they sound pretty positive. Yeah. Uh, the freedom, uh, what is it called? The, the oh, there's always, they always use the word freedom. The Freedom Act? The freedom, freedom and liberty. Is, your, yeah. uh, your freedom and liberty is always in jeopardy. Mr. Obama is trying to take away your guns. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Shop. Well, you're you only you're only free to shop in 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 the United That's States. That's it. United oligarch of America. That's all you got. You're only that, that, that's what the Republicans. That's the only thing the Republicans give you. Unless you're 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 rich, then they love you. Is the freedom to shop? That you're not going to get help if you're in trouble. They'll tell you to go see your local church. Yeah, you're and, a lazy moocher. Go bother. Go hit your relatives up for money. You see all those people yeah. in the Great Depression and the soup lines? They were all lazy moochers. What about the? That's what they what about the um, the rich Republicans and? Uh, their wealthy corporate friends, all their cronies, they're not moochers when they steal taxpayers' money? No. And uh, over a Billions a year? Hundred billion dollars or more a year for subsidies and tax <laughs> breaks. It's, it, that's okay. Now they want to... God forbid we pay maybe two, two billion dollars for food stamps. And God forbid you should oh. raise... You should raise the minimum wage to to anything. They don't even want ten dollars and ten cents an hour, let alone fifteen dollars an hour. They no. they don't want nothing. They they want to give you nothing. But if you're rich, they'll give you free corporate welfare in the billions. Um, um, Chris Christie has done it. You know, and he and what they do is they cut they 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 cut the money from. Like the main street. pension plan. Yeah, they cut the money from the little guy. They took the, they put the, took the pension money, uh, and, and gave it to their friends, you know, the rich friends for the tax break, and they made the teachers, and the firemen and the police pay more. Oh, That's that, what Christie did in that New Jersey. The case. And then the excuse they give you is the the, the lie, the trickle down economics lie. There's no trickling down. It, it's like what, what Pope Francis says. The wine, the, the glass of wine begins, it fills up, and you think it's going to overflow and, and trickle down to the people at the bottom. And what happens is the wine glass suddenly gets larger. Yeah, because the rich bastard keeps sipping on it. Right, and nothing ever drips down to <laughs> anyone at the bottom but anyway let us sink our teeth into these readings well we're going to start out and i'm going to relax enjoy my tea a little less controversial shall i say you're going to start off on a light end not too light light not, no, not light enough to be like a uh, dear Abby, no, not that way. I should get a. Um, She'll be up here, though. I should get a a LED bulb that you know with a battery in it and do like Uncle Fester from the Adams family. When you say we're gonna start off on a, with a light story, just put the bulb in my mouth and have it just light up in my mouth. I think he was doing a Tesla. Remember when Fester used to do that? Because there's obviously electricity in our bodies too. If we only yeah. were able to make it uh, now, some work. Some company wants to uh, use solar energy to provide electricity 
for an awful lot of people in Africa. Well, I wonder why. This, uh, as far as I know, a a Akron or Ak this NRG uh, solar home thingy that's going on in the, uh, 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 it's, I'm not sure if it's just New Jersey, but they want to install it for free. They want to give you free, whatchamacallit, and free 20 years. Jerry of Brown is electric. doing Wait a minute, I'm not done. Okay. I'm not putting a positive spin on this. Oh, okay. It turns out to be a scam. But there's a disclaimer when you sign a contract. No, there's no disclaimer. It's a scam. In other words, they do shit. Exactly. Whatever they're trying to do in saying they're doing ain't what they're doing. You know what I mean? It's too good free to, this, free that. Sounds too, too good to be true. And it is. Well, uh, in the right system of government, like what Scandinavia has, uh, people, oh, Mr. people Mr. will, would get the solar panels and there would be, um, uh, Green energy will be t taken advantage of like it should, uh, and and and, and it, it, the rich should usually pay for it like they they should. You know, the rich pay, they make more money, well, they pay more a, taxes. Yeah, it's not a matter of paying. It's it's a matter of that's that's the way the system was set up. If you make a lot of money, you pay a lot of taxes. Now, over the years, 30 or 40 years, they've been getting breaks, a tax holiday. Well, when you so now when they talk about it, well, we are the job producers. We're the wealth producers. You can't punish us. You can't punish us. You're Lies. punishing us. Lies. So that's what has happened over these years. Your job producers. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, 32 that thinking cent has taken hold. 32 cents an hour in China or, or, or 50 cents an hour in the Philippines or 14 cents an hour in Bangladesh. Yeah, they're job producers, sure. <clears throat> they're not here. Uh, uh, but what I'm saying is um, just look at all the countries that are in um, tropical or desert regions. Look at all this untapped potential. I don't want to you know, sound funny like the the, the, the commercial for Pinocchio but it is untapped potential when you have sun blazing down on you mm -hmm. in certain parts of the world you should be utilizing solar energy mm -hmm. and, 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 and wind power if you happen to be near the coast you know it, and then and there's hydroelectric power there's so much untapped hydroelectric power that can be uh, utilized. Uh, um, there's a there's a solar there's a floating solar farm like a hydroponic. I don't know what it is if it's hydroponic or if the soil, but there's, there's like a floating farm utilizing solar energy. Mm -hmm. uh, um, there's aquaponics now, where you know you have like maybe a, uh, you're uh, you're raising tilapia for food and you're fertilizing and watering your your crops with the the fish water from from the pond and, and then it's solar powered. It's the pump is solar powered, so it's like a self-sustaining situation. Self-sustaining environment. But that's, that's the way to the, go. That's working against clean coal. You know. That's why we don't. And dirty oil. That's why they didn't go with Nikola Tesla. That's why we don't have electric cars. That's at, right. At, at, we would have had electric cars decades ago. Electricity from the earth. That's what he was working on. From the earth. Electricity for the individual from the earth. 
no electric company pumping it to you. But, but according to Tesla, electricity is all around us. It's in the earth. That's what I'm saying. He put light bulbs in the, on the earth and they lit up. He proved it. Okay. Well, he may have proved it. But ain't nobody working on it, are they? Because their cronies are in the oil and in the, uh, the clean coal it business. It shows you just how many people in government have a price and are willing to apology to get to take that big payoff, take of that course. bribe, take that bribe. Of course. And uh, the two-party system. You know, I hate to break the news to you, die-hard Democrats, but. Hillary is not the Democratic Party of uh, Eisenhower and, uh, I'm sorry, of, Tru of, of FDR, Truman, and JFK. She is definitely not. Corp the drug industry, decades spanning search for a female equivalent to <coughs> Viagra, took a major step forward on Thursday. I didn't think women cared about whether they have sex or not. As government experts recommended approval for a pill to boost sexual desire in women. I mean, they don't, they don't, they, they don't act like they care, like men do, but oh well. But uh, all they got to do is use the vaginal lubricant. How does that improve their desire? It doesn't. Well, then well, why did you just say it for? I, I figure a may, lubricant may, has nothing to do with. I figure you know. maybe if the old Sasichi enters her, no, maybe it'll turn her on and she'll get you know aroused, like Jeez. Ruth Westheimer used to say, aroused. The arousal must come first. Yeah, I hear the, cl First. the the clitoral stimulation is uh, uh, not part of the vaginal stimulation. It's all clitoral. It can be different. There are women who are clitoral, and there are women who are vaginal sensitive. Oh, really? Yes. Really? So vaginal, vaginally sensitive to the point where they can get aroused just from vaginal um, penetration? Well, not, I would not, hope so. And not because the clitoris is... What kinda, about from foreplay? Yeah. There's your arousal. Oh, just by sticking a dick in doesn't guarantee yeah. any arousal. No, what I mean is the clitoris is, is above... Did you ever read Matthew Johnson? I used to see them interviewed all the time. No, you have to read their work that they did. There are stages that the vagina goes through when to, it becomes aroused. Yeah, I used to watch them as... So get, that it can accept a penis. Oh. Uh, Tom Snyder, remember Tom Snyder? Yes, I do. He used to have Masters and Johnson on all the time. and uh, I, I used to watch David Suss kind too. I don't know if they, they were ever on David Suss kind. But anyway, is Tom Snyder dead or is he alive? I, w I don't know for sure, but I would imagine he's dead. Yeah, because he, he, yeah, I was watching him. All of those guys from those days, Joe Pine, uh, high school. Like, they're all dead. I was watching him uh, when I was in high school, Tom mm -hmm. Snyder. He's pretty good. The first of a kind endorsement came with safety reservations due to the drug side effects, including fatigue, low blood pressure, and fainting. Oh, I forgot to mention Dick Cavett and David Frost. Those are the two. Those two. Well, Frost, I believe, is still alive. Cavett died? Cavett, I think, is gone. Who knows? 
Yeah. Yes. I'm not an expert on people's death, you know. You know, like my my aunt, she she loves the uh, to read the obituary and to, to announce who died. Kind of very Maybe macabre. it's to see if her name is in there. It's very macabre. <laughs> macabre. So yeah. what's going on here is that uh, they want to come out with another drug and make more money. And this is to arouse women. Now, how on earth do you arouse women with, uh, pharmaceutically if women get aroused by usually what they hear uh, uh, psychologically their arousal is uh, very tied into you know what I mean? The panel of food and drug administration advisors voted 18 to 6 in favor of Sprout Pharmaceuticals Daily Pill Flibsanserin. Oh, it's good. The the um, the pat the um, the patented uh, commercial name is Sprout. That's the pharmaceutical company. Oh, Sprout. Fliban. Flib and Siren is the name of the pill. On the condition that the company develops a plan to manage its risks. Here we go. The recommendation is a major victory for a drug sometimes hailed as Female Viagra. Let's see what happens down the road. You know how pharmaceuticals are. But which has been plagued by years, for years, by concerns of lack, luster, effectiveness, and safety issues. Safety is my concern. The FDA has rejected the drug twice since 2010. Doesn't stop them from rushing a, a, a drug to market before. A similar panel of FDA experts voted unanimously against the drug five years ago. Thursday's vote is non-binding, but the FDA often follows the advice of its experts. An official decision is expected in August. FDA's experts acknowledge that flib, flibinsirin effects is not very strong, but said there is a need for FDA approved drugs to address female sexual problems. I think it's mostly um a hormonal imbalance and during uh, post-menopause that might cause this, you know, a woman needs to have her hormonal profile checked. These are very modest results, said Dr. Julia Hyman. Hold on. Her name is Dr. Julia Hyman? Uh -huh. Hyman. <laughs> of the Kinsey Institute. Oh, God. At Indiana University. Perfect. But on the other hand, even modest results <laughs> can make a lot of difference when you're at a certain point in the clinical problem. In general, women taking flibinserin reported between 0 0.5 and 1 more sexually satisfying event per month compared with women taking a 
placebo. They also scored higher on questionnaires, measuring desire, and scored lower on measures of stress. Flibbensarin reminds me of Flubber, the uh, car in uh, uh, Is that a Disney movie? Yeah, in that Disney movie. The, where it floated. It almost sounds like a German word. But the, the, the scientists invented the that looked like um, what was that stuff that used to come in an egg? It's like a blob. A, yeah. Uh, not play doh. Uh, yeah, something. that's what I'm thinking of. No, no, it was like a, it was like a blob. Yeah, I'm anyway, sure. Anyway, sure mothers love to, to. Yeah, it made things fly anyway. You know, trying to get it out of the carpeting and everything. Flippin' serin, which acts on serotonin and other brain chemicals was originally studied as an antidepressant, but then repurposed as a libido pill after women reported higher levels of sexual satisfaction. Well, now satisfaction is something that comes after sex, no? It's also not arousal it's also, before. It's also something that Mick Jagger sings. I can't get me. Anyway. Satisfaction. I try. Federal health regulators, keeping in the drug mode, said on Friday that a highly anticipated experimental drug from Sanofi, Sanofi lowers bad cholesterol more than older drugs. Better than statins? Statins are crap. Statins, I, I cause cancer. I read an article recently. They also deplete your CoQ10. Right. Which and can cause heart disease. And, th and they don't they also deplete the cholesterol your body needs? to make hormones to it the brain the the, the brain yes, I would say it's working on you know not just the LDL we're working on total cholesterol because our brains uh, consists of quite a bit of cholesterol um, let, let well nobody cholesterol talks about, is needed to make all the hormones nobody talks about less it than anymore but it, it is a I have ordered my lecithin. Granules? My lecithin granules. At least 97% phosphatide. Which will be coming soon, yes. But officials question, have questions about whether to approve the drug based on that measure alone or wait for additional study results. The Food and Drug Administration posted its review of Sanofi's Preulent Preluent mm. Preluent ahead of a meeting next week to consider the drug's approval. Preluent is the first in the new class of cholesterol lowering biotech drugs to come before the FDA. The drugs are considered the first major advance in lowering BAD or LDL cholesterol since the introduction of blockbuster statin drugs in the late 1980s. My Lipitor Lipitor, Crestor, Bunkabor, Bipabor, Bababor. All the bores. All yeah, the bores. More than 70 
1.3 million U.S. adults are, or nearly one-third, have high LDL cholesterol. Does the body use any amount of LDL for anything positive? Or is it completely useless? No, it's not useless. Of course it's used. LDL. Its only problem is that it becomes, you know, uh, damaged uh, vessels and then it uh, comes along and... and, and uh, oh, the uh, oxidation. It's, it's being transported through the vessels Oxidation. by a lipoprotein, yeah. just like HDL. So it should just go through there yeah. properly and go where it's needed by the body. Right, it but, doesn't. But the oxidation... Because it acts like a scab cover, a band-aid. Yeah. Well, the oxidation... And calcium comes along and, you know... The lesion uh, that's created from the oxidation of LDL cholesterol is not... No, 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 no. The lesion is caused by something. Free radical? The cholesterol comes along and patches it. Like a spackle on a wall. Like a spackle on a wall. And then the calcium comes along. And then pretty soon you got a big blob increasing in blah, 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 blah. And pretty soon it, uh, you yeah. know... Well, I mean, the best I've heard certain radio nutritionists uh, say that it's it's free radical damage that to the vessel initiates the, the lesion. That's correct. In the arterial wall. Now you got it. That's it. Uh, according to the Centers for Disease Control, the and prevention patients with high cholesterol have doubled the risk of heart disease. Across company studies, patients taking preluent, in addition to a statin, saw their cholesterol fall 46 to 60 percent. That was significantly more than the reduction of 20 percent to 22 percent for patients just taking a statin alone. But FDA regulators are weighing whether to approve Pre-Lu-In based on its cholesterol-lowering benefit or whether to wait for longer-term studies designed to show whether it actually reduces heart attacks and death in patients. While the FDA has traditionally approved cholesterol drugs based on their ability to lower levels of the wax-like substance, the agency notes that such metrics do not always translate into real benefits for patients. For example, in 2006, Pfizer halted a study of its cholesterol drug Torsetropib. Torsetropib. After study results actually showed higher rates of heart problems and death in patients taking it. Lovely. Despite the questions raised by the FDA's review, analysts continue to expect the drug to win approval. UBS an analyst Matthew Roden said in a research note, there were no downside surprises in the FDA document. We shall see down the road what down happens. Road again. What <laughs> this <laughs> drug? We don't. We're not proponents of pharmaceuticals at all. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't. Uh, I 
wouldn't be surprised if it's like recalled. Mm. I mean, if it's taken it off the market. Eventually. Law lawsuits. But um, take your antioxidants, people. That's my best advice. Shoot the works. Shoot the moon. And take optimal dosages. You know, like if you're going to take natural vitamin E, don't take 30 international units. Take 400 international units of natural E. If he could go back to high school, Mike Huckabee said, he would like to have felt like a woman. Huh? When it came to time to wash up in the physical education class. He's mocking Caitlyn Jenner. Oh. I wish that someone told me that when I was in high school that I could have felt like a woman when it came time to take showers in physical ed class. Interesting. The former Arkansas governor joked while speaking at the National Religious Broadcasters Convention. I'm pretty sure that I would have found my feminine side and said, Coach, I think I'd rather shower with the girls today. So he's being sarcastic. The comments by Huckabee, who ended his show on Fox News in January, to make a second run for the Republican presidential nomination came a day after the release of the highly publicized Vanity Fair cover featuring the former Olympic star Bruce Jenner. Huckabee is a long shot to win the GOP nomination. His hopes of doing so depend on winning heavily among evangelical conservatives, particularly in southern states. What else is new? So that's all he had to say. You know, just making, making, mocking Caitlyn Jenner. But you know, uh, the media constantly posting things about Caitlyn Jenner. I, I, I guess it's it's big news because of who Bruce Jenner was, but it's part of the big distraction that the um, the powers that be are throwing at mainstream to keep us from noticing what's really going on, how they're all picking up our pockets literally you know I no, mean it's also and uh, it's, it's also that uh, that fear or whatever that the Republicans have of sex fear of sex uh, of all kinds uh, you know um, I noticed that that um, Many southern states are coming up with more and more ridiculous, frivolous laws, excuses to arrest people just to put them in one of those privatized prisons. It, it's becoming more absurd. The laws that they're passing, almost like they're, they're trying very hard to fill up those privatized prisons prisons. Hey. I, I want to go back to something when we were talking before yeah. about the, uh, the wages and you were talking about the minimum wages and complaints and all this crap over there. You know, they never, 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 never at the same time say that wages for a company are a tax write-off. It doesn't cost them anything to raise your wage so, from seven twenty-five to fifteen dollars an hour. So why are they why are they bitching and moaning? Why because is, they just don't want to. 
M Mitch McConnell bitching and moaning. They just don't want it. They don't want to give it to you because they... Here. Here it comes down to what I always say about... When you want a job, if you want a job, you should be a financially independent person to be able to make that decision. But we're not. We are forced for our survival to get a job. That is the problem. It's a form of slavery. Correct. And this is what the right wing wants. They want and to enslave and not only the slavery, middle class, I mean the mainstream. Yeah. It is a building of wealth for someone else other than yourself. I'm sure I'm sure there I'm sure these privatized prisons mean equate to big money for some people on top. It costs more to keep a person in prison than it does to, uh, 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 like, help them out. But anyway, if, shape but if you sucker them into working to produce a product, and you pay them thirty-two cents an hour, maybe, 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 maybe. You know, when you're in uh, jail, they have a special setup with the telephone, and everything. it costs you an arm and a leg to make a friggin' fall call. Oh, really? Oh, really. You don't just go out to the any phone and then throw in a quarter and be able to call somebody. Even your lawyer. You gotta pay for a call. Yeah. Boy, well, there's, your, there, there's your capitalism for you, teabaggers. Well, it's it's all these things. It's some student loans and it's uh, on the way down. They're always making money on the backs of the poor. That's what it's all about. So when Bernie Sanders says, so what's wrong with socialism? I guess a and follow... Sca and the Scandinavian way of life. That was what another one was stepping out. And, and, and I guess a, fo a good follow-up comment would be, well... When it comes to the poor and the middle class and the mainstream, tell me what's wrong with socialism. Nothing. That's what the problem is. Go ahead. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm listening. Tell me what's wrong. Here's the and problem. And they, would, they couldn't come up with anything, I bet. It's the same as communism. Communism is a working class policy. So is socialism. Yeah. Now, you're holding people. They, they'll, they might say, well, you're, you're hindering people. You're holding them back. From, from personal growth. Hey, in order to grow, in order to grow, grow and be, uh, and work towards being financially independent, you have to have opportunities in yeah. front of you. If there's no opportunities, if the economy is shot and the job market is shot and there's no opportunities, and, and you're living from paycheck to paycheck, and, if you got a job. And you have to pay out of pocket to go to school, like Republicans want you to, you're never going to be able to get that that full-time entry-level job to pay off the student loan, so you, you'll be in debt for the rest of your life. That's what happens. So where is this personal growth taking place? How is it going to take place? It takes place for the 20%. But they are, they're already financially independent. They don't need. Well, they anything. why they need further growth, man. What's the matter with oh, you? Oh, sure, they need further growth. They're the ones that get the the free corporate welfare, and the, they want more in the billions. They want it from you. A rich person has no business taking one red cent from from the taxpayers' dole from the United States government. Not one red cent. What does that scripture say? About giving to the rich. Don't do it. Well, of they, course, don't do it. But. You know, uh, he who he who gives to the rich, he who helps the rich and, and oppresses the poor, shall surely come to want. Shall surely come to want. And yeah. and uh, and 
among other great um, uh, verses. Now, we're, we are going to take a break now for lunch, myself and uh, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, and we will now be joined by the, uh, speaking of Bible verses, how to defeat a conservative Bible verses pertaining to that, and you just simply hit the pause button and read it, mm -hmm. and take your time, and then after that will be our uh, voiceover artist, William Hamilton Morrow III, for his words of wisdom and promo, mm -hmm. and then we'll be back for the balance of this show. Any holidays coming up this Monday? So this, oh, this is not a holiday. Father's Day. Is this it's week? coming up soon. You know, my grandmother said, anybody could be a father. Ooh. Father is just a pollinator or fertilizer. Ooh. Anybody can be a father, but there can only be one mother. Mm -hmm. You can only have one mother. And she, and she was right. Nobody really pays attention to Father's Day compared to Mother's Day. And, and well, Omaha Steaks does. Oh, they have specials. I mean, real for specials? For steak lovers on Father's Day. Yeah. Then they should, but they should do something. The grill. But they should do something about their shipping costs. Oh, oh God. What's the sense of getting something on uh, with a, a big discount if your shipping costs are high? Mm. Shipping and handling. There's a scam for you. Handling. Uh, oh, uh... uh Anything in the local news about the uh, American Red Cross? Building six thousand only, or was that FEMA? Bilking. No, the Red Cross. Yeah. Bilking. Oh, that was in Haiti. They got all that money, and they only built six houses in Haiti. Yeah, all all that money to uh, for the people recovering in in Haiti from the earthquake, right? Mm -hmm. And they only built six homes. Mm -hmm. Big charities are a scam. All of them. They're all a scam. And the CEOs of these charities are well paid. They are making astronomical sums of money. Mm -hmm. It should be volunteer work. And, and uh, it's not. I, that's why I don't give to any of them. You're better off giving directly to the person in need. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's a scam. But we'll talk about it later. After we partake in the gastronomic delight. This is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. 
We're living in the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye. Okay. We are back from our gastronomic delight. Lunch. Well, thank you very much, William Hamilton Moore of the Third, for doing promo and your words of wisdom. And uh, we were uh, before we uh, took the break for lunch. Myself and Dr. Bill, we we're talking about the many big charity scams and. Uh, it's very real. I mean, when you have 25 cents or 15 cents or 10 cents on a dollar going to the worthy cause because of this... Sometimes four or five cents. Yeah, because of this mysterious administrative fees. Yeah. That should be a huge red flag right there. So well, you know, that never did anything as far as uh, forcing Republicans uh, and reluctant de Democrats to uh, get universal uh, insurance cover coverage, health insurance. Because the administrative costs for the private sector is like 30%. Whereas for Medicare, it's only two or three yeah. percent. This, this, uh, it must be a teabagger. You must be a right wing guy uh, running the organization uh, Natural News, which has absolutely impeccable natural health, holistic health articles. It keeps on posting information about where he he's complaining that the cost of Obamacare is killing businesses now businesses wrote the thing they wrote the bill so it's a compromise I don't know if it's a compromise or what they wrote the bill Obviously, they're not going to write something that is not in their favor. So they agreed upon it. I mean, I mean, if you're if you're a stingy fuck, conservative, every every you're going to complain about everything, any 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 expense, because government is too big for them. It must be small. Except when Small they all enough not to be able to fight back. What about against the corporations? What about the if rich? what about if they need a a, 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 a bailout thrown their way? They, bailout or how about a uh, a FEMA? Like Texas? Yeah. Yeah. That 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 then we want big brother. Yeah. The fact that cats. Love that corporate welfare. Oh, yeah. Then big government is fine. Yes. Yeah. Heaven forbid you should have some empathy and compassion for your, your employees that are helping build your business. Helping? That's how wealth is created. So they they are they are ingrates. These, ingrates. These business owners, they are selfish ingrates. As Marx pointed out, 
one big flaw in capitalism in a Kong show in a Kong show is that the employer will never pay you exactly what you are worth what you do for him the production that you do him he will never pay you I that, that much because he you make so much and the rest is profit for him Okay. Yeah, I was shocked to see how much when I was doing temp assignments with uh, the ADECO uh, employment agency, I was shocked to see just how much of a cut ADECO got from the employer. There you go, that And too. how much I got, got stiffed with. It. <laughs> Even, listen, everything in the United States when Republicans are in charge. Even something that has um, good intentions, uh, 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 something that looks like it, 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 it would be something caring to help people in need, everything has to be privatized for profit yes. when, when Republicans are in charge. Because when you privatize something, you take it away from government. government no longer makes the money on it, the private sector does. That's what they do. They make government right. smaller. And, and, and when the private sector is involved, then it becomes ill-gotten gains. They start stiffing people, robbing people. Yeah, if you sell your, if you sell your waterworks to them, before you know what the bills have gone up. Yeah, they price gouge. Same thing with Electricity. They price gouge. You. Yes. Um, because they're the monopoly now. <clears throat> right. They're the monopoly. Control. They can put any price they want on it. Oh, oh, wait a second. Under capitalism, aren't the prices uh, determined by the market? Yeah. The invisible hand in the market? Yeah, sure. You know, and. Um, um, incredible now um, yeah well they 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 have their little uh, their little lies their little uh, catchphrases about the market and let the bar beware and all that bullshit you know um, but people are so easily led the lemmings the sheeple are so easily led and deceived, and they have been. Now, now they're just flat-out brain cell deficient imbeciles. I mean, I'm convinced. You know, if you if you if your life hasn't improved in these red states since you voted Republican, and you're still scraping the bottom of the barrel. Something's wrong with that picture. Mm. Expecting a, a do it. What is it? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. That's correct. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that's correct. That's what they're doing now. Hillary Clinton's lawyers are suing uh, the Scott Walker administration for voter suppression in Wisconsin, which is uh, a very serious violation of our rights is not being able as an American citizen to vote. Well, Scott Walker and Wisconsin were not the only states that have done that. Oh no, all the Republican states are. That's correct. Just like Republicans want to raise the retirement age to like 70. Yeah. Like Jebby Bush, uh, they want you to drop dead Christie too. Chris Christie. And there's another female Republican. She says, well, why don't we just let the trust fund run out eh, like 17 or 18 years, whatever it is, and then by then they will only have enough money to pay 75% of 
the people and the amounts. And that will cut it down automatically, she says. But I got an easy way. Just don't stop the rich from paying their fair share after 113000 or whatever it is. After they pay a certain amount and making a certain amount, they don't pay anymore. Bye bye! Social Security tax. Okay? The rich do not need from government or from or from anyone do not need any help or assistance in anything that's correct nothing their responsibility should be to pay the bulk of the taxes because they're making the most money but they should not receive one red cent in any help or assistance well what is a what about a um, a career politician who's been uh, um, uh, in Congress or the Senate forever, you know, and they retire with the big ass pension and everything? Mm. And uh, this person, if this person is a multi-millionaire or billionaire, they do not need this pension or health care. Care or anything from the government. They don't need any perks or freebies from the taxpayers. They are wealthy. So why are they getting it? I guess because they're able to steal it. Well, it's part of their job uh, description. Maybe their job description. I mean, Mr. Mr. Bloomberg is going to run for president, too. Let me guess, as a Republican, no, right? You know, yeah, well, he's got his own goddamn money to spend on a campaign. What the hell does he need a pack for? And and uh, 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 people giving him money? And this Gi Giuliani's not running yet. yet not yet, Giuliani, right? he, he tries to run all the time, but he can't. He can't because he has certain uh, 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 left-wing uh, 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 policies. He's still too. He's in favor of uh, uh, abortion and woman's right to choose. He's in favor of um, something else that is. Uh, so he's too left-wing for the yeah, Republican yeah, Party. Yeah, for getting through the uh, primaries. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I mean. Uh, uh, the job description of congressmen and senators needs to be reformed because they don't, if you're rich, you should not get one red cent of the anything is free. The can't be reformed. They're the ones who do the voting on it. How do you think they get automatic raises? They voted on it. They're the ones in charge. You can't do any reformations until you kick them out. Yeah. They're the ones that are stealing because they're the ones in charge. Yeah. So until you start talking about changing the system yeah. and changing this and changing that, you have to kick out the guys and girls who are your enemies. It's like the, it's like the, it's like the fox running the hen house. Oh, my doing. hens are missing. I got, I, I got six hens missing. Where are they, fox? Uh, the fox blows out small, uh, feathers from his mouth. From his mouth. Hey, I'm in charge of the hen house. I, you know, the hens are the hens, the chickens are the chickens. I'm in charge. I'm the boss. It's that, that's how it is in, in Washington. All right, let's, let's return to the show, to the readings. Literally being few. I think we have an interesting um, reading. I have a feeling it will be. State? We're talking about New Jersey here. Campaign finance officials said on Wednesday 
that Barbara Bono, former Democratic candidate for governor, violated New Jersey law by mixing funds from her state senate and gubernatorial campaigns when she ran against Governor Christie in 2013. In a legal complaint filed last month and announced on Wednesday, the Election Law Enforcement Commission said Bono used her Senate campaign account to pay $37,250 for private polling that also concerned the governor's race. Mm -hmm. According to ELEC's complaint, one of the 80 questions asked by Myers Research and Strategic Services was, if the election for governor was held today, and the candidates were Barbara Bono and Chris Christie. Who would you vote for? The survey was conducted in January 2012. But Bono's gubernatorial committee only recently paid back the cost in December 2014. Bono, a Middlesex County lawyer, who had to give up her state Senate seat to run for governor. All right, so she's not in the Senate anymore. Oh, she had to give it up? Yeah. They don't just return to their job? Lost to Christie by 22-point margin. In Buono's concession speech, she decried the lack of support from the Democratic Party. She's very right about that. They turned their back on her. I didn't know if she had to give up her job uh, as state senator. No, well, one of her jobs. She's a lawyer. She probably has a, a law firm in Middlesex yeah. County. Campaign aid said afterward that she had been seriously underfunded. Yeah, but she did great in the two debates against... Uh, well, obviously, in New Jersey, as elsewhere, money talks. Well, Christine, uh, a, a news uh, lady, Christina Johnson, jumped all over her for, on the first question because she didn't answer her. Um, give, she didn't give her a good direct answer. As what what her plan was for New Jersey if she's elected governor, and you know, when she she hesitated and then stuttered a little, stammered a mm. little bit. She didn't she didn't see that. That's the most basic question you can ask. Well, you debate. have to have a platform that run on. Yeah, if you're like humming a humming a humming, and you're not coming up with an, a good answer is what your platform is and what your plan. I mean, she was, after that, she was fantastic against, uh, against Chris Christie, pointing out all of his shortcomings. But, you gotta have a plan. <laughs> Bono will get a chance to plead her case at a hearing with elect, elect, whatever. She declined to comment on Wednesday. Candidates in New Jersey must set up different campaign committees to run for separate offices. When they make their first expenditure for a race, they have 10 days to set up a campaign committee for that office. Bono potentially violated both of those requirements with the Myers poll. Each count carries a maximum fine of $6,800. So, what she 
allegedly did could be just a slap on the wrist, drop in a bucket violation. Yeah. Like uh, it's like when they sent Martha Stewart to federal prison for for forty thousand dollars. Oh, they the sent IR. her to prison for lying to the FBI. Not for the crime the itself. Perjury, they call it. She lied. Under oath? Yeah. Well, of course you're under oath when you're speaking to them. Uh, 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 she lied. Uh, okay. Well, but getting back to Barbara Bono, I mean, this could just be somebody that doesn't like her busting her, her, her cubes. You know, I mean, it, 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 it's like, it's like. It could just be she didn't know. Yeah. And the advisors didn't know. I mean, there are many. Well, let's face the fact. Come on. Do you know how many laws there are in the United States? Who the hell knows them all? Especially like a, in a state like New Jersey. I mean, uh, so de so densely populated. But it's like, um, I mean, breaking a law can be severe. Can be. Me mediocre, or it could be trivial. I mean, look, look at how the local news is making a big stink about about closing down uh, massage therapy places owned by Asians because they were giving happy endings <laughs> and and, happy. and possibly prostitution. They're, they're 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 going on and on of the morality of the community. <laughs> And this and that and Baba to be and and, and and wives are 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 um are very upset because their husband has uh, been shown to be making a lot of visits to the local ATM machine, which is right around the block from the massage therapy center. And uh, you know, then they showed a picture of the wife, and she, I think Mighty Joe Young would have looked prettier than her but anyway we elected a criminal for president in the United States GW GW which, which is correct which DUI and cocaine use look you know as well as I do that the subject of prostitution and marijuana is not a real Crime, like, 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 not like, a crime at all. It's not a. They're not crimes. That's correct. So when they make a big deal about it, it's the same thing that happened with prohibition. The religious nuts got the law in effect. So it's the religious nuts that are behind these moral laws. You mean the st the sting operations where the cop sends in undercover people to the well, to the massage it's because the law is on the book yeah the massage the therapy and and this bullshit in new jersey yeah. that those same people can close down a, a go-go bar if a patron just touches the Ooh. dancer when he gives her a tip a gratuity they can close it down because they call it prostitution first of all that's that's not prostitution. Second of all, prostitution is not a real crime. It's it's just simply the world's oldest profession. I remember way back when in the sixties, I believe. I knew a gentleman who was a writer, a free speech. Uh, advocate sort of an activist too activist oh yes well, in fact yeah. activists and, and uh, working on those behalves yeah well this was before a time when uh, you had all of these pen pal places and all of this bullshit where you you you, you were able to write and get in contact with other people and pal. Now discuss it's sex and this, that, and yeah, Now they're right? all social network yeah. group, groups. Well, yeah, what the hell do you think Facebook is? And, you know? and, and um, um, but, um, uh, dating websites. Yeah, yeah. the point is, <laughs> that was before these. He 
started himself a sex club, so to speak. Right. But it was a correspondence sex club. It wasn't, you know, people going and uh, having sex. Was there a, like it a, was pub a, correspondence. a publication with articles? Uh, yes, there was a, a, a publication. And they could subscribe to it. And they could subscribe to it. Oh, okay. Well, before you know it, the FBI, the local police, and I guess the county or the state police. Yikes. Were on his ass. The FBI? And they arrested him. And of course, he had to go to court and uh, cost him. Yeah, but the. Cost him a lot of money the, at that time. The publication was for consenting adults. Doesn't matter. In 1966, there were still. Abortions were illegal. Okay? This is what I'm getting at. It was a different time, a different place. Right. So anyway, this guy gets, you know, run over by the, 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 the powers that be. The moral powers that be. Supposed, yeah. Okay? And at a time when, I, like I say, these, these uh, pen pal thingies and sex clubs and stuff weren't around. There was, there was, there was, if there were few, there were very few. Well, you know, they, they cut him off at the legs. And he couldn't go back into that business. He would have probably been rich today, you know? But, uh, yeah. it's just like prohibition, I mean, it was a, a law that the people would not obey. Yeah. Meanwhile, the people doing the arresting are probably corrupt this can be well even so i mean it's it's a matter of free speech and morality right okay free speech there you yeah. go and they didn't know that nothing about that at that time you know i mean they were all free speech and we don't care about that shit that was even i i think that was even before miranda rights were uh uh uh, uh okayed by the supreme court I think. Anyway, an Omaha Zoo worker was bitten by a Komodo dragon. Not good. And was treated at a local hospital. Yikes. The female worker was taken from the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium to a hospital after the incident. You know what kind of deadly microbes are in the saliva of a Komodo dragon? That's how that's how they that's how their prey dies. They bite them and infect them and then come back later after they have died. Later in the afternoon the zoo said to eat that the worker had been released and should recover fully. The zoo said earlier media reports that the worker was critically injured were incorrect. The animal involved was a juvenile Komodo a dragon. The zoo said the animal is about four feet long and weighs ten pounds. Hey, I've, I've seen people work with monitor lizards. That's what the Komodo dragon is. Except that happens to be the largest in the world. And uh, monitor monitor lizards are the, are the most intelligent reptiles in the world. And I've seen monitor lizards bond with the trainer or the owner to the point where they gently remove the food from the hand. Now, I, I don't recommend, I mean, I mean, you can't, you can't, you, you cannot ever 100% trust any animal all the time, but a reptile 
you know, a primitive pet will will and can bond with you to a certain degree, but to hand feed a lizard with razor sharps teeth that that are known to be carnivores, mm -hmm. unless, unless you're working with it since it's a baby, you know what I mean? You just, uh, they say when it's a baby, you have to put your hand, when you put your hand in, you have to put it in as a fist. You cannot dangle your fingers into the enclosure because it can mistake your fingers for worms. Your wiggling finger for prey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Conservationists have banded 12 peregrine falcon chicks in nests high atop three New York City bridges. I know they got peregrine, they got man-made peregrine falcon nests on skyscrapers in New York because they were endangered. I don't know. The banding took place at the Verrazano Narrows, Marine Parkway, Gill Hodges Memorial, and the Throgs Neck Bridges. Yes, yeah, it's called the Throg's Neck. What is a Throg? A three-legged frog? You know, the Throg's Neck Bridge, three-legged frog. I, I honestly don't... I have no idea what a Throg is. This is the, this is the second fucking time the Shillelagh got caught with the bells. Well, it won't come through there. Oh, what? Anyway, continue. Research scientists of the New York City Department of Environmental Protection climbs to the top of the three bridges and puts identifying bands on the birds. Metropolitan Transportation Authority Bridges and Tunnels says it provides nesting boxes for the birds but mostly leaves them alone. Peregrine falcon falcons were nearly wiped out in the 1960s as a result of pesticides. Yeah, DDT was no kidding. was used back in the 60s. The low rate of carcinogen. And they remain on the New York State's endangered birds list. They are still endangered. I right. wonder if they're endangered nationwide. I would say so. But uh, um, I, uh, there, there, are, there are many bald eagles in New Jersey now, and even in northern New Jersey. Well, maybe they need some minoxidil. Minoxidil. Uh, Rogaine? Rogaine. <laughs> you know, I knew a guy that, well, he might be deceased now, but there's a, 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 a hot dog landmark in my area, and, and the guy who started the business, the old man, he was, he was very bald, and he used to say, there's nothing like a, you know, he talk like this, there's nothing like a bald hot dog, a bald Hot, a bald hot dog. A bald hot dog. He was trying to say boiled. Uh -huh. was, no, no, no. I need like mustard it. on my bald hot dog. I, I tell you one thing. That mustard I got from the Polish uh, from Piast. I got a big jar and it. it says strong Polish mustard. <gasps> and I found out what's what what makes what makes it strong. It's Horseradish combined with brown mustard, like and that. it's good. That's good. It's got a kick to it. I might, I might grill some freshly made kielbasa today. Mm. I, made, I don't know. I'm gonna make the um, the cod fillets. That's right. Or I might do that too. A little surf and turf. Anyway, continue. A little uh, lighter moment here. I thought we'd been going light. With the peregrine falcons? Yeah. 
And the what from a gun? Well, it's no. not. Oh, it's and the not. Drugs? It, Come on, it's man. It's not. It's not like. A, it's not a reading about like the evil Mitch McConnell. Well, we killed them already. Mitch McConnell. We killed the Republicans already today. Oh, we hammered them good. Yeah. We hammered them good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. When you're right, you're right. My daughter is 32 years old and works long hours as a nurse at our local hospital. She has done well by purchasing her own house and car. I've been proud of her accomplishments. About four years ago, she entered into a relationship with Jake. She became pregnant. Short time later, she and Jake, oh, excuse me, Jake, quit his job. Jake is a jerk? To move in with her. All these girls get knocked up. Doesn't anybody today hear of contraception anymore? She has a son from a former relationship who also lives with her. After the birth of my granddaughter, I presume that Jake would go back to work. To this day, he is still unemployed and not actively seeking employment. He spends his days playing video games and drinking beer. Jake uh, decided to get a job with Seymour Doolittle. Hold on for a second. Seymour Doolittle. I tell ya. He often leaves our granddaughter with his parents while my grandson is in school. This gives him a lot of free time. Why doesn't he watch the kid? Jake has expensive tastes. Uh oh. And has no problem spending her money. Sounds like he's makes a great Republican politician. My daughter regularly borrows money from me. Oh, jeez. Oh, to, to, to support his expensive habit. She asks for small amounts, and I can afford it, and I never ask her to repay. I would like to tell my daughter how I feel about Jake. Yeah. He is lazy. And selfish. Mm. And apparently has no plans to change his life. How should I approach this? Does she nag him all the time? Maybe Jake is being, um, um, what's the word, rebellious? Or should I approach it at all? Is this one of those areas where Dad should just butt out? Yes. Answer. If Jake is a good and attentive father, and if he keeps the house in decent shape, and prepares meals for the family, then he is already earning his keep. From your account, however, he is none of these things. You are an important part of her problem in that you are financially supporting a family system that you disapprove of. She has involved you by asking for money, but Jake is the person you should talk with about Jake. You don't have to call him lazy and selfish, but you could certainly ask him what his plans are for employment. Your daughter might be so exhausted or have such low self-esteem that she believes this is the best that she can do. You can be helpful by giving her a prepaid gas card instead of cash. Then at least you would know she could get to work. 
The environment you describe does not sound like a healthy one for children to grow up in. Well, it could be worse. The, 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 the man could be abusive. He could be, um, you know what I mean? It could be a lot worse. I just hate it when people mix financial matters into love, into relationships, love and romance. And if you believe this, you should tell her so. It's mm, a shame. But you know, there's always two sides to every story when it comes to relationships. You know, the, the, his side, her side, and then there's the the truth. Is that how it goes? <laughs> and then there's the real side. Uh, right down the middle. Let's see. What, what did Rocky say? Uh, I see three. I see three of them. And Paul I see three. Hit the one in the middle, Rock. Hit the one in the middle. <laughs> uh, oh. What I forgot to mention, I, maybe I did mention it, when we did, when we discussed prescription drugs for cholesterol, is that the the big culprit is diet, and 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 the culprit in the diet is sugar and all refined carbohydrates. That's for ob uh, obesity and high triglycerides and LDL cholesterol. So, in case I didn't mention it. The U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has delayed his trip back to the United States to stay in a Swiss hospital overnight after breaking his leg in a bicycle crash on Sunday. What the hell was he doing that he crashed on a bike? Riding his bicycle. That's his exercise. State Department spokesman John Kirby said that after further consultation, it was decided it was sensible for Kerry to remain in the hospital for observation overnight. It's kind of, his leg is kind of brittle, isn't it? You know, for, first, uh, we don't know much about the accident. How it happened, etc. Et I have heard nothing on that. First, Joe Biden's son dies, and now, and now John Kerry's leg breaks. Kerry had to scrap the rest of a four-nation trip that included an international conference on combating the Islamic State group. The secretary had planned on flying back to the U.S. this evening. But after further consultation, it was sensible for him to remain in the hospital for observation overnight for purely precautionary measures. Kerry broke his leg in a bicycle crash when he struck a curb. That'll do it. Kerry was in a stable condition as he prepared to return to Boston for further treatment with the doctor who previously operated on his hip. So what has he got, a uh, metal hip too? Hip replacement? Yeah. Yeah, I hear, I hear patients are having problems with those. Yeah. I think there was a one is a lawsuit going on with one company. X-rays at a Swiss hospital confirmed that Kerry fractured his right femur, the longest bone in the body, by the way, and and the, the largest and the strong, the strongest bone is the femur, the thigh bone. The thigh bone connected to the knee. Well, whether it be the left or the right is not important. The thing is that he broke one of his legs. His injury 
Kirby is not life-threatening, and he is expected to make a full recovery. Femur is not an easy bone to break. Carry 71 was taken by helicopter to Geneva's main medical center. Paramedics and a physician were on the scene with uh, with his motorcade at the time and provided immediate attention. He'll get very good care in a European yeah, for free. European hospital. In Switzerland. Oh, yeah. Oh, Switzerland. Oh, yeah. Switzerland has a similar system yeah. as, as Scandinavia? Yeah. What about Deutschland? Yeah. Could you go to school for free in, the, in, the, in, in Switzerland? Uh, I think most of the school, yes. Carrie's regular plane was returning to the United States carrying much of his staff and reporters who had accompanied him on the trip. The Secretary of State initially planned to fly back late Sunday aboard a plane with special medical equipment to ensure he remains comfortable and stable throughout the flight. Carrie's cycling rides have become a regular occurrence on his trips. He often takes his bike with him on the plane and was riding that bicycle on Sunday. Carrie had been in Geneva for six hours meetings with Iranian foreign minister Moma, Mohammad Javad Zarif. The prospect of a lengthy rehabilitation could hamper the nuclear talks and other diplomatic endeavors. Even if Gary does not need surgery, it was not immediately known when he could fly again after returning to the United States. Oh boy. Now, do we have a heavy duty one or we should just call it a day? Call it a week. No, we're not calling it a week now, yet. Got because something. we have something important. You got something. Yeah. Okay. Good. This is really important. All right, this is one last, one last reading, right? George Reskakis is proud of them. Proud of them? Though he concedes they are not much to look at. I hope he's not. He wasn't being. Scruffy piles of branches that dot Teaneck Creek Conservancy. In fact, Rescakis, who heads, <coughs> excuse me, the Conservancy's Weed Warriors Volunteer Group, gets asked all the time why they leave the messy brush piles along the trails. What the piles lack in looks, they make up for in ecological value. They provide vital protective cover for the eastern box turtle. turtle. They're very, in, they're very endangered. Eastern box turtle and the uh, the wood turtle. They're in very much endangered. Yeah. The flashy multicolored turtle. They're pretty. Once ubiquitous throughout New Jersey. Yeah. And known to generations of children who fed fistfuls of 
freshly plucked grass into their pet turtles' aquarium tanks. Let me tell you, they have beautiful, they have bright red eyes, red coloration, and orangey red coloration with black. Let me tell you, they're omnivorous. They eat fruits, insects, whatever, yeah. They have been declining in numbers here and in other states. And New Jersey's Department of Environmental Protection identifies it as a species of special concern. Eastern box turtles live from Maine to Georgia and west to the Mississippi. Really? and are designated a species of concern or special concern in a number of states, including Connecticut, Indiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, and Ohio. It's like they're, they're, they look more like a tortoise. They have a dome shell that shuts tight. And their neck comes out. Yeah, and they're long. very tortoise looking. They are terrestrial. But they have been known to, they stay near water. They, yes. just, they stay near like marshes. That's why all of them uh, grass thingy tra tra by the trails, uh, they're nests. Yeah. 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 People spot box turtles more often at this time of year because nesting season begins in late May and early June. Wildlife experts say homeowners can help by not disturbing the nests that the female box turtles might dig in their flower gardens, mulch piles, or lawns. A box turtle will lay up to seven eggs in the nest, then leave. Oh. Like a, like a sea turtle. The eggs incubate on their own. Brian Zareit, senior zoologist with the state's division of fish and wildlife, said, box turtle habitat often intersects with the suburbs, contributing to the species decline. That's why, that's why their nests should be watched and when the babies they're cute as hell when the babies emerge they should be collected and taken to a to, to the woods away from uh, busy roads the main threats include habitat loss and fragmentation the turtles can't move safely between patches of habitat because of roads and railroad beds and parking lots and other dangerous obstacles. My, my brother-in-law found a, uh, an ornate box turtle or box tortoise in, in uh, uh, Florida, Flagler Beach area, a beautiful animal. I mean, uh, there are other species. But it's not the, we're talking about the eastern box turtle. Another threat has been the illegal collection of these turtles for commercial sale in the underground pet trade. Yeah, that's a sad situation. I don't, I don't believe in uh, wild collected animals for, for sale. For pets, I believe in captive breeding. You don't mess with the uh, wild population. Zarate said, and since they seem like docile creatures, they are suburbanites who come across them may decide innocently enough to take them home as pets. They have. They have a specified care requirement. They, they, <laughs> they yeah, they're very pretty. Yeah, that, 
that's it. That's it. That's it. They're beautiful turtles, and it says so, and you can see. There you go, right there. Right there? Yeah. Ah! See it? Uh, the pretty coloration? Yeah. This is a beautiful turtle. Not not an, an ugly turtle Pop like... Pop it down a bit. Not an ugly turtle like Mitch McConnell. This is a beautiful <laughs> turtle. <laughs> turtle face. Even Gamera, the mo a Japanese monster, is better looking than Mitch McConnell. See? Beautiful. You know, I mean, of course you want to save a creature like that. I mean, it's bad enough that the black rhino supposedly became extinct because of greed. Hunters, you know, or poachers. Well, that horn is an affidavit yet, no? No, guess what? What about the shark fins? That animal is no longer around. Shark fin soup. Sure, there was, yeah, shark. Well, you know what, with sharks, <clears throat> the shark population was becoming, was getting closer to classified as being in danger because of the collection of sharks for shark fin soup, popular in China. Asia. But. What about for uh, getting shark cartilage? Uh, uh, shark cartilage yeah. also for uh, nutritional value, for arth arthritics. But at the same time, there has been an increase in shark attacks from deadly species like, you know, your bull shark, your tiger shark, your, your great whites. You know, I mean, there have been shark attacks. And and, and the sharks are also coming closer to the to the coast. To the shore, the, yeah. To the shore. And um, just like <clears throat> all wild animals, they, they follow the food source. And if the food is not where they are, they go somewhere else where the food is. So hey, there's your problem when it comes to that. <clears throat> But anyway, that, that that's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. We'll see you next time for uh, Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth. I'm your host, James P. Madonna, and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman says have a, a safe week. And uh, next time we'll see you. Oh, by the way, all you all you Fajas on Fajas Day, Father's Day, uh, I hope you don't get a necktie. Don't get your father a necktie, please. That's a boring, boring, depressing gift. Do something nice for the guy, you know? Can you imagine a necktie for a guy who works in the mines? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what I always wanted to do? I wanted to, I wanted to find, you know, when you dress up uh, some goofy uh, outfits, uh, they have a cumberbund. You, usually with tux, certain tuxedos, right? Yeah. I, I, I want to get material with pictures, with images of cucumbers on it, so I will have a cucumber, cucumber bun. bun. Oh, good, good God. I got to ring the, the levy bell. Cuc cucumber bun, get it? Oh, man. All right, take care. Say goodbye to these jabronis. Uh, goodbye, Jumbo. Jambronis. Oh, yeah. Cucumber bun. Cucumber bun jambronis. This has been a mega